Well, yeah, it was a pretty crazy week. So it started on Monday. Um, there was a bond hearing for my client, Mr. Miles Farley. He had previously been denied bond three other times. Um, late, latest was back in December of 2022. And so we do the bond hearing. It goes really well. The judge decides to wait, which is um, taking it under advisement, was his exact words, which means waiting. And so um, he said, we'll rule on it later. I'll tell you Wednesday. And then we have the day off Tuesday. On Wednesday, there is this kind of mishandling by the deputies of the security of the courtroom and then this strange event where like 12 deputies come and just um, grab this um, other defendant, Rodelius Ryan, and take him away and then they're screaming and then there's just chaos in the courtroom. And then later on, um, Mr. Steele um, you know, sees it for what it is and there were reports that the um, district attorney had been telling media to go there that day that something big would happen and so uh, Mr. Steele talks about it being an orchestrated event and then the very next day that morning um, we're doing our second day in a row of bag checking they were checking our bags which was a new thing for that week um, going in our attorney bags which many of us were upset about and has never happened before and so then now flash forward to Thursday, it's been real heated. The deputies have like a constant negative energy in the room, not all of them, um, but a lot of them. And so there's always this kind of negative energy and hostility that, you know, maybe we don't react the best to, um, but we're dealing with things we never had before, you know, privacy being invaded in a different kind of way. And so it's, it's me sort of, you know, voicing that, feeling that, saying I'm humiliating or that I'm feeling humiliated and that um, it's invasive and stuff. And so we're kind of having an impolite discussion with the deputies. And while they're searching my bag, they find um, my own medications that are prescribed from my doctor. And ultimately, I end up being you know, wrongfully charged like the, the, under the statute of pills not in their original container, because um, one of them was not in their original container. And so, yeah, which isn't even the law. The law is if you're a patient with a prescription from your doctor and your name, then you do not need to put them in their original container. Like, everybody knows this. And so I feel targeted. I feel like it was uh, retaliation in the context. But, um, yeah, so I end up being taken into custody. And then I get a you know, really good attorney, Mr. Brian Tevis. Um, he has me out within, like, 12 hours. You know, I was held at the courthouse till 5, then taken to the jail. You know, it's really terrible in there the way we've been hearing lately. It's all true. And so um, luckily they didn't process me in the normal way. They just did the initial thing, um, the medical screening, which is pretty degrading and, and dirty and just terrible. But, you know, just the initial medical screening and then the, you know, bonding out process because uh, second chance bail bonds had already just posted my bond when they saw, you know, that happen on the Internet. Mm -hmm. And so, which was, you know, pretty misreported on for a while, just, just, they were saying it was like prescription pills, like I was trying to bring some kind of contraband in. And then even the sheriff, after this had all been known, goes to the news and says that I brought in contraband. And they keep saying contraband, even though from the beginning, it was my medication from my doctor. So... Yeah, I mean, that's, that, that was it. Yeah, I bond out. And then th that whole bond hearing that we had on Monday, um, just never got addressed by the judge. And then also there was a cross-examination, I forgot to mention, of an officer that Monday. It was the first cross-examination of an officer in the case. And that didn't go well for the state at all. And I think it added to the temperature in the courtroom and like possibly what happened to me on Thursday. But uh, yeah, and then the other part of it, they charged me with, a, they tried to make a scene out of a battery on a public official and like delaying a public proceeding and these trumped up charges. Um, of a false thing to begin with because I was being illegally detained anyway, but all I did was try to get my attorney phone to a colleague so that my business can keep going and that my clients were, you know, inevitably going to see this on the news, um, wouldn't be alarmed or have someone to talk to. I try to toss it to him. It touches a deputy. They do what they do. They're excited about it. They lock me up. They take me away. You know, don't ask a lawyer. Don't ask a judge. Don't call my doctors. Didn't do anything, and they just enforced a law improperly. And um, you would think that law enforcement would know the law, but they didn't, and they locked me up, and then the phone thing happens, and nobody checked on anything. And then luckily, yeah, Mr. Tevis had me out um, within 12 hours, and then the next day, judge says, come to court at 4 p.m. I have something about bond to tell you. 
and um, he brings us there. He tells me that Mr. Farley has now been severed That's from the client. case. Is, is yeah, Mr. Mr. Farley, Farley um, the defendant, Mr. Miles Farley, um, who, just a quick, is the creator of this clothing line, Make America Slime Again, which just has that same slime word in it, which is really just a pop culture youth term, and the state's trying to make it into a, a gang-only term because whatever they try to say YSL is, they want to say it's young slime life. And so um, that's kind of what brings Mr. Farley into all this. You know, he's an entrepreneur doing marketing and product placement, and then he gets caught up in this thing with Fani and this RICO case. And so um, the judge brings us in, says, uh, you know, he's been severed. He was severed immediately. Court just proceeded after I was arrested. So I didn't know that because I was in jail. And so then basically um, 